Okay, well now we're going to look at one of my all-time favorite uh, word problems, and it's so much fun, and I really like it so much that I don't even want to contaminate it with some sort of stupid little humor thing, because this is just too good. It's like insulting the flag, you know? This is great. Let's take a look at this, because this is a classic, and, um, and it's one of my favorites. So, you want to find three consecutive odd natural numbers whose sum is 99. This is great. Now, first of all, um, what do consecutive uh, odd numbers mean? Well, it means that odd numbers that are as close together as possible. So, for example, when you think of the numbers lining up here and you forget about the evens, you know, there's 5, and then right after 5, there's 7. That's the next odd number, so those are consecutive because we're just forgetting 6. 6 is even. And then we forget 8, but then, of course, 9 would be the next one. So these are three consecutive odd numbers. And if you add them up, well, we don't get 99. And the question is, what are the three consecutive odd numbers that if you add them up, you get 99? That's the question at hand. Well, so the first question is, how do you actually represent you know, these odd numbers? I mean, one thing that you can do, and a lot of people, in fact, think about this, is they say, well, gee, um, I'll call the first number, like, you know, uh, x, the next one y, and the next one z. So then x plus y plus z equals 99. Well, that's fine. The only problem there is that you have all those unknowns. How are you going to figure out what all those unknowns are? We have to somehow use the fact that, first of all, these numbers are odd, and second of all, they're consecutive, because those are actually important facts that have to come into play here. So what does it mean to be odd? If someone tells you you're odd, what do you know? Well, it means that you're just one more than an even number. And the even numbers are always two times something. So in fact, if you're an odd number, then you know that you must have the following shape. You must have the, the basic shape two times something plus one. That's how every single odd number works. looks. For example, notice that 5 is actually 2 times 2 plus 1. And 7 is actually what? Well, that would be well the next number. So I just take 2 times 2 plus, well, 3, because it's, it's the next one odd number. So I have to add two more, right? 5, 6, 7. So I add two more to this. And the 9 can be written as 2 times 2 plus 5 because to get from 5 to 9, I have to add 5. 1, 2, 3, whoops, <laughs> let's try it again. So 5 is already this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So if I'm thinking of three consecutive odd numbers, they will always have this shape. 2 times something plus 1, then the next one will be 2 times something plus 3, and the next one will be 2 times something plus 5. That's always the shape of three consecutive odd numbers. I don't know what this thing is in general. Let's call that S for now. But once you know S, then I can find the first number, the second number, and the third number, just like I did here with the 5, with the 7, and with the 9. OK, well, now forget about 5, 7, and 9. Let's think about this in general, because we know this is not the answer. 5 plus 7 plus 9 is not 99. So let's just let um, the first odd number be 2S plus 1. If the first odd number is 2s plus 1, then what is the next consecutive odd number? Well, it would be 2s plus 3. OK, so that's the next odd number. Right, it's 2 away from the previous one. And then what's the next odd number after that? It would be 2s plus 5. So I'd have 2s plus 5. Great. Those are three consecutive odd numbers. They're all odd and they're all consecutive. There's no odd numbers between them. OK? And what do I want to do? I want to add them all up. And what's the answer? The answer is 99. But I can actually add these up. Let's add them up. Here I have 5 and 3 is 8 and 1 is 9. And here I have 2s plus 2s plus 2s. So that's 6s. So I have 6s plus 9, and that has to equal what? Well, what's the sum? If you look at the question, the sum is 99. All right, well, now I want to solve here for s. So what does s equal? Well, 6s equals, if I bring this 9 over, I subtract, I get 90. And so therefore, what does s equal? Well, s would equal 15. If I divide both sides by 6. Divide both sides by 6. OK, s equals 15. So that means the numbers are 15, 17, and 19, right? No, no, and no. This is s. 
If you want to find out the numbers, we have to go back to here. This is a great, great mistake to make. You get so excited that you see an odd number, you just jump at it. Well, you can't always jump at the, the odd number that you see sort of up there. You have to think about what it means. Remember, the odd numbers we're looking at have the form 2 times s plus 1, 2 times s plus 3, 2 times s plus 5. Another way you would have detected this, by the way, is if you would have checked your answer. If you take 15, add it to 17, add it to 19, you're a far, far away from 99. So be careful there. OK, but if we go back to this number, what I see is this number is now going to be 15 times 2 plus 1, which is 31, which forces this number to be 33, which forces this number to be 35. Notice those are three consecutive odd numbers. And voila, if you add them all up, we get 99. Neato! I just love these questions. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy them and realize that the key to it is to realize how to write down three consecutive odd numbers uh, in a row and add them up. Of course, you can imagine similar questions with even numbers. And what does it mean to be a consecutive even number? You would have a 2s, then a 2s plus 2, and then a 2s plus 4. Same exact idea. Enjoy them, and I hope you like them as much as I do. I just love them. Aren't they fun? And, it, and, and by the way, if you, you know, you could juggle. And in fact, I'll juggle for you right now. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we're out of film. Sorry, I'll juggle for you next time.